a very good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired today at Sakhir Palace the cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King reviewed with the cabinet a number of domestic and regional issues. His Majesty stressed that Bahrain was able to overcome all difficulties and move forward in its comprehensive development in various fields thanks to the loyalty of its people who have shown strong resolve to be masters of their own destiny and refuse to leave their own affairs in the hands of those seeking no good for the country or region. His Majesty the King emphasized that Bahrain will remain strong, secure and reassured and is on the right track to move forward. He directed ministries to inquire into reports that some individuals and institutions had received assistance to be trained outside the country in breach of legal norms and submit a detailed report therein to the cabinet so that those proven guilty will be held accountable. On the latest regional developments, His Majesty the King expressed hope that security and stability will be restored soon in brotherly Iraq without any foreign intervention in its internal affairs so as to preserve its unity, sovereignty and territorial integrity. In light of His Majesty the King's directives, His Royal Highness the Premier reaffirmed the government's strategy with regards to the commitment to the principle of national sovereignty and not allowing any kind of interference in internal affairs under any pretexts or practices. He also directed all ministries and government bodies to inquire into reports hinting at attempts to interfere into Bahrain's internal affairs through a number of programs implemented by some international institutes and organizations submit their findings to the cabinet, which in turn will submit it to His Majesty the King following royal directives in this regard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Rafah Palace the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, in the presence of a number of senior state officials. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of raising awareness on attempts that aim at dividing society, stressing the need to preserve national unity on both social and official levels as it encourages further national accomplishments. His Royal Highness asserted the importance of preserving the values of traditions of Bahraini society so as to maintain social cohesion. His Royal Highness the essential role played by the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs under the chairmanship of Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, noting his constant efforts to preserve genuine Islamic values which call for love, tolerance and moderation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the CEO of APM Terminals, the operating company of the Khalifa bin Salman port, Mr. Kim Fedfer, in the presence of the Minister of Transportation, Mr. Kamal Ahmed. His Royal Highness affirmed a keen interest to develop main and direct transmission lines in addition to providing all requirements towards developed services so as to ensure the smooth flow of business. The adding that will result in boosting productivity level and operating efficiency in all ports. His Royal Highness asserted the Kingdom's constant efforts to maintain openness and industrial progress through improving services provided by ports as an essential pillar of the national economy. His Royal Highness stressed the fundamental contribution of shipping the ensuring the smooth movement of trade and cargo according to the highest standards of quality. For his part, Mr. Kim expressed appreciation towards Bahrain's constant support which is being provided to the seaport sector, noting His Royal Highness's keenness to support such vital sector. He added that APM Terminal's company highly appreciate such support since it started its operations last century in the kingdom. The Vice Chairman of the High Committee for Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, patronized today the honoring ceremony of official sponsors for the last season's horse race at the Royal Golf Club. The ceremony was attended by His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Chairman of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Court, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, in addition to a number of officials. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman asserted the role and contribution of sponsors in the success of the various seasons hosted by the club. He also stressed that 
the coming stage will witness further development through the implementation of a number of plans with the cooperation of all and the support of sponsors. He outlined the strive to develop the different aspects related to Rashid Club, especially horse races, utilities and media coverage in order to highlight the role of the sponsors. Sheikh Isa bin Salman expressed his thanks and appreciation to the sponsors and what they present for the success of the horse racing sport in Bahrain, which is considered one of the authentic sports that represent the identity of the kingdom, which would be preserved and cared for. He also affirmed the importance of encouraging the young Bahrainis to practice this sport. For their part, the sponsors expressed their pride in encouraging and supporting horse racing, pointing out that they as partners will serve this sport through participating in upcoming racing events. They noted that the weekly attendance of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman to races has contributed in encouraging sponsors to provide their support to the sport. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, attended today the graduation ceremony of the 26th batch of the Commandos Foundation course. The ceremony was also attended by the Minister of State for Internal Affairs, Major General Adil bin, Khalid al bin Khalifa al-Fadl, Governor of the Southern Governorate, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid al-Khalifa, and a number of senior officers. And the Minister of the Interior delivered the following speech. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina al-hadi al-ameen Al-ikhwa al-azza Yis'udni an naltaqi mujaddadan Wa nahnu nahtafil bi injaz tadribi musharraf Ala tariq al-binai wa al-tatwir Wa yatibu li bi hadihi al-munasabah أن أبارك للخريجين مقدرا ما بذلوه من جهد كبير لاجتياز هذا الاختبار الهام في حياتهم العملية شاكرا للإخوة المدربين ما بذلوه من جهد من أجل إنجاح هذه الدورة وفي إطار هذا العطاء العملي والتدريبي المتواصل لحفظ الأمن تطالعنا دراسة إحصائية عالمية لتقول أن البحرين تصدرت المركز الأول عربيا والسادس عالميا فيما يتعلق بالدول الأكثر أمانا ويزيدنا فخرا أن إنجازكم هذا المشرف هو موضع إشادة من لدن سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وكذلك الحكومة الرشيدة وأبناء شعب مملكة البحرين والمقيمين على أرضها وأود أن أنتهز هذا الجمع المبارك لأشكر كل الجهود المخلصة في وزارة الداخلية والأمن الوطني التي جعلتنا نقف في مقدمة دول العالم وتحقيق تميزا أمنيا عالمي في ظل ظروف أمنية غير عادية 
ويكمن معنى هذا التفوق الأمني في مقدرة الأجهزة الأمنية في التعرف على الجناة والقبض عليهم في أوقات قياسية وهذا مؤشر أمني رئيسي في مكافحة الجريمة وكفاءة أمنية تبعث على الطمأنينة وترهب من يفكر في ارتكاب عمل مخل بالأمن وبكل معاني الرضا أقول لكم شكرا إنكم تعملون بصمت وإن إخلاصكم واستمرار عطاؤكم كان له كبير الأثر في تغيير الصورة المشوهة التي رسمتها بعض وسائل الإعلام المضللة فقد كبرتم على محاولات الاستدراج الخطيرة التي تهدف إلى تصعيد الوضع الأمني ولقد أظهرتم بكل بسالة تفوق حكمة القوة على تهور الضعف الأخوة الأعزاء إنني أجد نفسي أمام رجال جديرين بالاحترام والتقدير وإن كلماتي مهما كانت معبرة ستظل قاصرة في حق ما قدمتموه من تفاني وتضحيات من أجل سلامة الوطن وأمنه ولكم مني أيها الإخوة تحية ولاء القائد للرجال المخلصين إنها تحية تقدير لولائكم وانتمائكم إنها تحية اعتزاز بعطائكم وإنها تحية افتخار بانضباطكم والتزامكم على الدوام وفي الوقت ذاته أذكر كل واحد منكم ضباطا وأفراد بأن تعرفوا واجباتكم وصلاحياتكم وأن تعملوا في حدود القانون وبروح الفريق الواحد وتذكروا بأن أي خطأ أو تجاوز من أي فرد يسري أثره على الجميع ويعمم على أداء الوحدة بشكل عام وعلى كل حال فأنا على ثقة بأنكم الحريصون دائما على حمل أمانة المسؤولية بكفاءة واقتدار وأنني إذ أهنئكم بهذا الإنجاز وأبارك لكم هذا المستوى المتقدم في أداء المهام الأمنية الموكلة إليكم لا أتمنى لكم التوفيق والسداد لمواصلة مسيرة التحديث والتطوير لمواكبة روح العصر ومواجهة كافة التحديات الأمنية والتعامل مع مختلف المستجدات بجاهزية عالية وانضباطية في تنفيذ التعليمات والأوامر الصادرة إليكم من رؤسائكم وفقكم الله جميعا وسدد خطاكم على طريق الحق والخير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته During the ceremony, the graduates conducted maneuvers that displayed their advanced training and skill, as well as their high readiness and willingness to perform their duties.
At the end of the ceremony, the Minister of the Interior distributed prizes among the top participants in the course, praising the good results achieved by them, urging everyone to exert more sincere efforts and wishing them success in serving their country and consolidating its security and stability.